I'm gonna walk through how to turn off the automatic console clearing in Create React App. So some of you might be familiar with Create React App where when you run the start command, it will start up the dev server and automatically clear out uh, messages. Every time you save any file, it will clear out the console and blow away any old messages. This is super challenging for a number of reasons, especially when you do a couple of overrides to the Create React app with something like Rescripts, Craco, React app rewired, whatever it is that you're using to maybe change one or two things of Create React app. Uh, you can't really see those changes when you use, when the console gets cleared. So if, if you're trying to debug some Webpack stuff, or if you just want to persist the linting errors or any other errors uh, between file saves, uh, you can't really do that without modifying the underlying code unless you do this one thing. So let's actually do this now and fix this. So uh, just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, if I go into my code and let's say that I you know, remove the service worker or whatever. So I get these you know, uh, warnings, which are nice. It clears the console, but like I want the console to persist. I don't want it to keep clearing stuff out, uh, especially if I do an override. This project is just a vanilla Create React app project. It doesn't have any overrides, but uh, it's still gonna demonstrate the point. So let's actually stop this server. We're gonna install a new dev dependency called concurrently. Concurrently will let us run multiple NPM commands concurrently. Now that that's installed, let's go ahead and use it. So instead of our normal start command, we are gonna override this. So inside of our scripts here, we are going to change this to, so we'll change, we'll add a new start. We'll say concurrently and we'll say npm dev. So we're gonna change start to dev. We're gonna add a comma here. Now what this is saying is, hey, concurrently run the npm script dev, which is this, which will just run react uh, script start. So let's actually uh, go ahead and run this. I'm gonna clear out the console here and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and start it, npm start. All right, so now what we see here is instead of Re create react app clearing out the console in between saves, we actually uh, persist that. So if I go in and uh, remove, you know, the service worker line again, save that, we can see the compiling message. Once it's done, it will say, hey, these are the warnings and it'll persist these. So if I go in and let's say I, I remove the default logo from the app, we'll get another linting error. If I save that, we can see, hey, there's our new linting messages. Here's our old ones. Everything is everything is basically being persisted into the terminal session. This is really the default state that I want. Uh, I can clear that out with Command K if I really want to clear it out, uh, but I do want to persist that. This is especially important uh, when I am customizing Webpack and I need to debug what is actually happening, either from the the running the, the dev command or from running a build and making sure my production values are there or my staging values are there, etc. The default console clearing uh, is not great in my opinion. There is an open issue in GitHub. Well, I shouldn't say open, it's closed. So some other people were complaining about this. This is actually where I got this tip from. Um, there's a discussion happening somewhere. So whoever, uh, let's see, concurrently, yeah. So Hypernaut, thank you very much for the tip. If you use concurrently, you can actually disable the default Create React App console clearing. This should just be like an environment variable. Uh, it really should just be able to turn it off, but uh, it is what it is. Um, adding the uh, concurrently command will uh, work around this issue. So you can name your scripts whatever you want, but now that I'm using concurrently, I can actually see what's going down inside of my uh, React app when I, when I really need to jump in and debug. Uh, those messages in the console. So hope you found this enjoyable, uh, really tiny little tip, <laughs> but very useful for, for what I was working on the other day. We just wanted to share it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, ping me at David Wells on Twitter. 
Have a good one.